my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's gospel, Cleopas and his friend have witnessed the death of their hopeful liberator, Jesus, returned to their villas of Emmaus with a heavy heart and disappointment. They had hoped in Jesus. They had hoped that this would be the one who would redeem Israel. And now all of their hope in Jesus powerful has turned to disillusionment. Some of us might have experienced moments of being totally abandoned. We felt helpless and hopeless even if Christ can't be relied upon. We wanted to walk right behind Cleopas and his friend. And during the crisis of coronavirus pandemic, churches and all the other religious activities have been halted. We have celebrated the Easter Christ, yet we carry feelings that we, he was still hanging on the cross on Good Friday. We all want to be on the way to Emmaus. But here is the good news. The two weary travelers were joined by the third. A stranger came alongside. He recognized something was wrong. Why is it that you are so downcast? He asked. What is it that you are so sad? They were absolutely amazed. Has no one told you of Calvary and what happened in the past few days there? The Gospel pastor tells us that they were blinded and didn't recognize him. Has, only one, has, any, has no one told you of the COVID-19 pandemic and what has happened in the world in the past four or five months? Surely some of us in disappointment have asked the Christ of Calvary. The beauty of the Easter story is this. Jesus Christ walked beside them on the road to Emmaus. At the moment when they felt hurt, despair, loneliness, discouragement, Jesus graciously came to walk the difficult road with them. Easter brings us good news. Jesus comes to meet us on the difficult road of life. The tragedy is that sometimes we fail to recognize him. That was true for Cleopas and his friend. They didn't recognize who it was that was the road beside them. Yet something strange and supernatural was beginning to happen to them. Something incredible of which they testified afterwards. They recorded, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? It was the moment of rekindle of their faith in Christ the Messiah. 
brothers and sisters let us never devalue the burning hearts within us it recognizes that you and I as disciples of Jesus Christ need to recapture something of the joy of Jesus in the way we live our lives we need the happiness of being in his presence in knowing his indwelling of resting in his will this is the incomparable message of Easter Jesus is alive to walk the road of difficulty with you it is the message to the perplexed and to the sad to the battered and the besieged to the disillusioned and bewildered to the lonely and the despairing and the joy of message is the reason Christ can give you new life as you walk your road of difficulty and journey tearfully on Jesus Christ can come and walk that road with you if you allow him and yet here is the Easter challenging for you how will you respond will you let him pass you by as he intends that he is going on further or will you urge him stay with me for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over